So we have created a contiguous address space of 64 kilobytes, covered by two memory chips. The CPU has no idea about this structure. It simply accesses a cell by address and receives data. And each of the memory ICs responds to the CPU based on which range the address requested belongs to. In real computers, decoding is, of course, much more complex. The decoder can use several address lines and other signals to obtain a narrower address range. Using this mechanism, several memory and input-output devices can be decoded. In any case, it's up to the developer to decide which address range each memory chip must be decoded. And when firmware is written, the programmer naturally must be aware which devices decode to which address range. Oh.